this video with Tenail Custom Garage, we're gonna be working on my son's 2014 Ford Fusion. We've got an error code, P2196. This is our Ford Fusion 2014 SE edition. And it's running an EcoBoost and we're getting a P2196 error code. And that is with a O2 sensor that is reading too rich. So we just pulled our engine cover off just so we can get back in here. But there are two O2 sensors. One of them is behind the catalytic converter and you can see it right in the middle of the screen. But this particular code is bank one, sensor one. And it is right here. Now the O2 sensor ties in under the bottom of this piece here which is just sort of snapped in with a retainer so we can pull that out so we can get these two connectors loose. O2 sensor is the white wire down here at the bottom you can see on my finger. Okay, this is loose now. Um, you just kind of put a screwdriver behind there and you can pull this out. And now I'm looking to see how this piece connects. How to unsnap it. Seems like they all have something different. Maybe it just unplugs. Let's see. All right, so the top actually comes off and there's a little tab here, presses in, and the top part of the connector comes loose and leaves all of this. And once I get it out, I'll see if any of this comes apart. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So I'm assuming that this little clip comes with the new part, but it's a short hose. I mean, uh, short wire all right here's our new part from uh, advanced auto and it does have the short uh, wire and yes the um, little clips do come on this sensor here so I believe we're right I did get this socket it basically goes on here by, and, and allows your wire to sort of bend over here because as you turn this thing with your wrench, obviously everything up here is going to spin. So to take the old one off, you can cut this and then just take it off without worrying about it. But I'm not convinced 100% that this is our problem. Uh, I believe it is, but I'm, uh, it, it could be something else. So, because uh, there's other reasons you could get this particular error code, but we're gonna, um, so we're gonna try to take our old one off without destroying it. Okay, so we've got the socket on there with an extension. I gotta go with a couple more extensions to pull it on out and we're gonna start turning it. Uh, see if we can get it out. Okay, so here's the problem. That thing is on there real tight. And this, with it being slotted, it just wants to twist on the, on the thread. So I went and got a regular socket, seven eighths. I cut the wire, point of no return, and uh, tried this. So here we are. I've got to fix this now, but this is wanting to spin on it. So I've got to find a 22 millimeter and see if that fits any better. I can get my, my wrench on the end of it. I don't have any force on it and it's real tight. So 22 millimeter wrench seems to fit good, but I just, I don't have enough. I don't, I can't put enough force on it to get it off. So I'm just gonna keep working at it. You can see it has boogered the, the side up just a little bit right there. So I think the wrench is the best bet because I don't, I can't find a 22 millimeter socket. I've, I've got up to 19, I don't have a socket. Okay, I'll show you this going back in, but I took the uh, air hose off. I took this uh, sensor hose off. 
The rest of the air hose goes down in there. I'll put it back on and let you see what I did. Here's some of the fittings that had to come off. Here's one of those poppers that go in that your uh, engine cover right there sits on top of. But I'm able to get to it a lot better. And by doing a flippity flip for whatever reason, it uh it gets a good bite both ways but only a little bit and i was able to get it loose all right now i probably wish i had done that earlier it looks pretty nasty well in with the new one you'll notice if you watch one of my other videos on o2 sensors this one's got a little bit of anti-seize already on it. Um, those threads on the old one were not seized. It just was hard, hard, hard to get to. And I think with those sockets and extensions, I was going at it from the wrong angle. And that's what was biting off my ears here. Okay. Okay. Hold up on this wire here because it has to twist. You see it. So you don't ever want to connect your electrical connection before screwing it in. You see how many times it's twisting over. All right, that's seated pretty well. I'm gonna try to get my box here. Just enough to put a little, little bit of a snug on it. I don't, I don't need to do a whole lot. Is a little long too, to be honest with you. Let's see if I can get into that. Okay. Okay. All right. I got it back there. I feel good about that. Now let's put this end back on. Heard that little snap. Now this thing does a couple little holes in here somewhere. Get from that side. Can you see? Uh. all right okay put this little protective cover on i'm gonna put back all my air breathing stuff starting with this long one it goes down into the bottom of the engine down there all right it goes right on top of that thing right there Hopefully I can just work it on there. It's pretty good. And it twists up here to this right here. It goes in right there. And this one goes in right here. Not quite lined up. There it goes. I'll get those down, but I got to Tighten that hose clamp right down there. Daddy! Hmm? I like that. You're outside? Mm, I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to get these back tight because it's air. Okay. Ready? The other, the other end goes in here. Right? Right. 
Okay, we got everything put back together. Um, everything tightened down. Rubbed down our engine cover with a little bit of back to black. It'll dry, okay? Now this fits over that and that fits over that. And look, there's little, there's little tabs that fit right there. See that right there? That'll go right there. And it just kind of pops in place. If you line them two holes up right, there you go. I put a little pressure on it, on, on, on where them dots are. You feel it? There you go. Two up front. You might already got them. Okay. All right, let's put our meter back on it and, uh, I mean, our uh, code reader and see see if we, what we got. All right, cranks up good. Looks like the engine light's gonna stay on. Okay, now what I want you to do is see the button that looks like an eraser. Touch that, and then hit yes. All right, your check engine light went off. Now, if you've watched the video, these videos before on these O2 sensors, you're gonna see that a lot of times it's not gonna erase everything. All right, there's the permanent. Um, record for that that'll go away if we have cleared it that'll go away with time and it's off now on some of our other O2 sensor videos uh, a lot of guys ask what's the part number so this was a Bosch O2 sensor part number 17319 and unfortunately cost me about $87 now here's a little bit of context for you. Tanner took the car to the gas station the other day, filled it up, and when he got back in, it would turn over, but it would not crank. It wouldn't stay cranked for sure. We said, you know, I'm coming home, I'll come see about you. A friend of ours stopped by, Tyler, and uh, by the time Tyler got there, um, the car cranked up. And it has cranked up every time since then. It almost seemed like he had flooded it somehow, the way it sounded over the phone. I know that sounds crazy, but, come to find out he does have a stuck on rich O2 sensor. So if for some reason it is not the O2 sensor, which I believe that it is now, um, there are a few other things. The mass airflow sensor could be uh, messed up. If you're getting too much fuel, it could be that you're getting too little air. So fuel mixture could be fine. It's just an air problem, but he just had his oil changed and the air filter was at least checked and cleaned by the guys at the service station. So I feel pretty good about it being not an air situation. But we do know that O2 sensors go bad. They go bad pretty quickly. Uh, it's not a hard fix. Kind of struggled with that one a little bit, but once I got those air tubes out of the way, which I would highly recommend that you do, it became a lot easier to get to it and you could actually take it off. And I probably could have saved that, um, that sensor had I, had I done that in the first place. But nevertheless, another problem down, that is error code P2196 on a 2014 Ford Fusion four-cylinder EcoBoost. I hope this video helps you. Thanks for watching Tenel Custom Garage. Catch you on the next one.